He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hey, what's up? This is Chad from Armstrong Entertainment, and I saw the movie The Possession. It stars Kira Sedgwick and a bunch of unknowns because this movie is utter crap. So the plot of this movie is it's about this young girl. She finds a box at a garage sale, and she buys a box, and of course the box is like a demon box. It's possessed. She gets possessed, and they have to save her. Blah, 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 the end. That's the plot of the movie. <laughs> I must admit, I am obsessed with possession movies. I have no idea why. I almost see all of them. And I and every time, I'm like, why am I seeing this? It's going to be stupid. I'd say about 70% of them are bad and 30% are good or watchable. This definitely falls into the 70%. I, def I skipped The Devil Inside Me, which came out about six months ago because that looked really bad. And it, or I heard it was. This is just as bad, I'm sure. The only reason why I thought this movie had any potential was because Kira Sedgwick was in it and Javier Bardem. And then I realized, that's not Javier Bardem, that's some other guy. Looked like Javier Bardem to me. So this movie's pretty much a joke. It's not clever, it's not unique, it's not special. The only thing it, it was diff that made it different and stand out from other possession movies was they added like a Jewish element to it. And that Jewish rapper, um, Matas... Yahoo? I don't know how to say his name, and I'm sure I'm gonna get made fun of for that. That guy, he's in it, and I know he's a rapper, and I've heard some of his stuff, so he was in it, and he, he kinda sucked. But other than that, the movie is just like more laughable than anything. It's not scary. Well, oh, oh, here's the thing that they do that pisses me off when movies do this. They use the loud tactic. They turn the volume up really high, and they just scare you with the sounds. Like this plane that's about to go by. This film is definitely banking on the fact that people will see it just because the preview was pretty good and they're hoping word of mouth won't get around too bad, but I'm here to warn you. This movie is stupid, it's not scary, it's laughable. Skip this movie, don't see it. We have definitely entered the September slump of movies. So definitely skip The Possession. Until next time. He'll watch a movie then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show.